Uh, in order for producers today, I think, to, to monetize their works more effectively, given that their works will most likely find their way onto YouTube with or without their permission, uh, is, is to actually embed in their works uh, many of the product placement uh, applications that exist. I mean, uh, what's interesting is, is with Flash, you can now do layers. So you can produce your movie and even put a layer over the top of your video production that will then open up new links that you can dynamically control through that flash layer. Uh, some of the things you can do is while you're making your movie and, and you know in the scripting phase you say you know Joe takes a sip of a beer and you go to several beer companies and say you know uh, it could be a Heineken, it could be a Miller, it could be a Bud what would you like it to be and that that the sponsors then pay for their beer to be the beer of choice. Uh, later what we're going to see is you can green screen somebody pretending to drink a beer and then we can dynamically include in that scene whatever you know sponsor is paying for that for that beer to be to be drunk at that time. And so I, th I think those are some of the big opportunities for producers to utilize product placement. Um, I think the other thing is, is, is to also say we are going to release a premiere on the internet at this time to, to in essence draw and monetize a crowd and to collect the email addresses of those people who watch those films and potentially even get some profiling as to age, as to gender, as to their location so that we know that this person really does watch this film and that we can then uh, more effectively monetize that video or that, that, that film work uh, by targeting advertisers that want to reach that demographic. Yeah, although it's uh, much easier for larger feature films with well-known producers, directors, and, and, uh, and, and brand talent attached to it in order to get these product placements and, and deal with the larger product placement agencies such as Rogers and Cowan, I think that there's going to be opportunities to just monetize aggregated content. Um, for example, what has sprung out from the internet are companies that aggregate smaller um, site traffic and create a much bigger, broader um, uh, overall traffic perspective um, to advertisers. And you know, many of the big advertisers, they don't want to manage small campaigns. Um, so what, what has happened is, is that uh, some of the people realize there's a lot of traffic to be had by aggregating small sites. So by doing so, they could go after the big advertisers because they still had you know, hundreds of millions of impressions a month to sell and they could actually identify the sites and the demographics and then a large advertiser like a Coca-Cola would say, well, I'll, I'll buy all 100 million impressions because I want to appeal to everyone, potentially. Or, no, you know what, I really want to appeal to only, you know, teens right now. So give me all the youth-oriented sites that you have, and maybe that's 15 million impressions a month. And so by aggreg I think we're going to see the same thing here with smaller and independent video producers that once they are able to put their works out onto the internet and create some traffic, there will be other advertising agencies, so to speak, that want to start monetizing that traffic. Um, and as long as you can then through Flash or some other mechanism embed into your video um, a link that will allow them to serve advertising into that video, then uh, you know that's one way to make money. As to product placement, it may start at the local level, which is look, I'm going to make a I'm going to make a video and it's going to be outside of Joe's car wash, and so Joe's car wash is going to get some attribution, and maybe you go to Joe and you say, look, you know, we, we're going to we're going to sit outside of your car wash, you know, having a dialogue waiting for the car to get done and while we're doing that we're going to say what a great car wash Joe's is. Okay, So it may happen at a local level if you're talking about independent video and going out and doing your own product placement but that again is another way to monetize your video works. In doing many of the uh, sponsorship contracts and product placement inserts it's also going to be very important 
for, I think, film producers to make sure that they have their agreements in writing, that they get all clearances, releases, and rights to use the name, the likeness, and location that they may, uh, or product that they may be inserting into uh, their, their film and video. Um, you know, I think once that is done, uh, then they can, they can, you know, feel pretty confident that they will, one, be able to collect their money, because I've seen many times where sometimes somebody says, sure, I'll sponsor you, and then, and then they don't get the proper waivers, and the person stiffs, and they say, well, I'll sue you for using my name and likeness or product in your, in your video. So it's very important to have, to, to have yourself contractually uh, buttoned up in order that you can profit from this. In summary, we have some incredible opportunities with the internet and new technologies to monetize our works. Um, I think we're going to see a, a, a massive democratization of media and no longer will it be that tenth of one percent at the top that makes all the money, but we will see a more, uh, a more diffused and even distribution of the money to be made from media as a result of new technologies and the internet. Um, I feel that convergence uh, will continue to march forward and that pretty soon our experience in our television viewing uh, with digital cinema on our cell phones and our computers will all be very integrated. Um, Let's face it, everybody knows who we are now. We are profiled. Uh, and we might as well get something for our profile, and that is time-saving relevancy. And the more that I think media providers can provide truly relevant and convenient and exceptional experiences, the more money they will make. And that rather than worrying so much about copyright in the future, Let's think about building a brand, a brand that can draw an audience and an audience that we can monetize. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that some of what I shared today is of value to you.